This is a short tutorial on creating Android apps. We're going to use the Java JDK Eclipse IDE and the Android SDK to work together to create a short little application to do Hello World. Now I'm going to make the assumption that you've got some Java background in your programming so that I'm not going to spend any time going over Java. If you need some Java assistance or some Java training, I highly recommend the series of blogs that I'm working on on my website, burtonsmediagroup.com forward slash blog. I have a, I'm in the process of posting a full set of tutorials on Java that derive from a year-long class that covers pretty well through the intermediate level of Java programming. But for this particular project, we're going to assume that you already know how to do Java programming and we're going to jump straight in and create a simple little Hello World app. Now, as I said, I'm assuming you've already got the ADT, um, the, the um, AVD, the SDK, everything is properly installed on your system. If you haven't done that yet, I again uh, refer you to the blog that's attached to this video. Um, I go over the basic process of configuring and setting all of these up in a fairly short order. So let's go ahead and jump in and do our Hello World project. We're going to go up to File and New and create a new project. Now if you've got Android properly installed on your system, you will see Android and I, as you can see I've already selected Android project here. And I'm going to click Next. This particular project is going to be Hello World, so I'll type that in. No spaces. I'm going to deploy this to the Android 2.2 and then my application name, which I can have spaces in, hello world. The package name is your uh, typical URL for your website. So in my case, com, it's in re done in reverse order. So com.burtons media group, hello world for your application. Again, no spaces, and it should all be lowercase. And then the activity that I'm creating is hello world with no spaces. And everything should be ready to go now, so I'll hit finish. And it will go ahead and create the hello world project for me. So I'll go ahead and open that up, go to source, and there's my URL, and go to hello world. I'll double click on that and op open up my package. Now this is, we don't have to do a whole lot to get this ready to go. We just need to actually insert four lines of code. First thing I need to do is add the text view from the Android widget. So I'll do an import Android dot widget dot text view. There we go. And that's now configured. And then we just simply need to add a couple lines of code. The first thing that we need to do is create an object. Uh, we're going to create a text view object. So text view TV for the object, what we'll call the object TV, equals new text view um, to the context of this. Again, if you've got some Java programming background, this will all look very familiar. The next thing that we need to do is go through and set the text view to, um, or the TV to property. So TV dot set. Apparently, the TV has a lot of properties associated with it, so it takes a few seconds for everything to load into memory. And we'll set the text for TV, the property set text and quote hello world and then end it with a semicolon so we've got TV set text set to hello world next thing we need to do is just simply display it to our screen so set content view to TV. Oops. There we go. And now we should be ready to launch the um, AVD. 
the simulator or virtual device so that we can see how it looks inside the environment. So I'll go up to run, tell it that it is an Android application that we're launching. Okay, and of course it'll automatically save everything as I launch. The AVD can be a little slow to launch. Uh, you got to be patient with it. I'm going to I'm editing this so that not everything, so that you don't have to wait for the full Android uh, simulator to launch. And there we have Hello World launched. We've successfully created our first Hello World application for the Android.